All right, these JPEGs were mostly leaked on the Asian server, so let's take a look. But the Curvettes won for 15 million credits, and the style as well, but no Brothers in Arm crew. So is it worth 15 million credits for a premium tier 8? Now practically, it's a Object 703 version number 2 with a single shot gun and the standard turret, not the double barrel, but the armor is practically the same. It is a premium, fires APCR with the uh, D25T-esque, level 122, garbage Russian DPM, accuracy, gun depression, all the stuff, but it's relatively decent for a premium tier 8. Now for 15 million credits though, that is rather steep, because most of the time from black market, it's usually about 7 million to 10 million credit for a tier 8 premium, so... You could wait for the discount by saving it, but it's average, I guess. It's okay. If you have the credits, then sure, but uh, I don't think people are that crazy about it because there are a few offers coming up that are much crazier or insane than this one. So let's take a look. The T22 medium tank for 25,000 bonds. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, um... I mean, either you pay 50 million credits for one, or 25,000 bonds, with discount, of course. But, if people are going for it, then obviously, you have to pay the full price, but... It's been a stigma tank for a bunch... For all its lifespan in World of Tanks, since the Rampage mode, way back when. So here it is, but... Last, Black Market, you could pay about... 50 million credits for one, so... I don't know, people still compare this to the Objects uh, 907. And it is a V-shaped hull, so very trollish, but... I don't know. <laughs> DPM is below average for a tier 10 Russian medium tank. Usually it's about 2,900 or so, so pretty high, but eh, it's alright. It's maybe... I don't know. <laughs> it's a controversial tank. But for 25,000 bonds, you could save it and get the discount, like 5% or 10%. But if people have the bonds, like what I do, <laughs> save up the bonds, then it's it's likely going to go fast. <laughs> so, I was waiting for the Object 780 or something. Not this vehicle, you're rehashing the same old crap from last black market. I was waiting for this, or possibly the Chieftain, but... Yeah, the base chieftain, not the hybrid chieftain for Clan Wars. I guess not. I guess we're going to get it the T-22 medium tank. Where's the base chieftain? There it is. So yeah, I was thinking about 25,000 bonds for this. Automatically buy. No question. I'll pay all up front. No discount, I don't care. I'll pay all of it, but... Uh, T-22 medium tank. Um, I think it's like a... 7 out of 10 that people will buy it really quickly whereas for this one it's like a 6 out of 10 I mean it's still very pricey for a premium tier 8 where you could have gotten the Action X Carnarvon for about 8 million credits or so so yeah debatable alright next Fosh 155 it's not worth the 20,000 bonds but obviously if you gotten it way back when it was only 6 million credits then it was for 24 million credits in black market now it's 20,000 bonds so I have it for the length of time I already have it <laughs> way back before the switch with the Fosh B where the hell is my Fosh 155 there it is so I mean it's a gimmicky 155 millimeter so sometimes you actually hit and doesn't penetrate so it's a trollish gun and it takes a while to reload but if you manage to hit all three shells then good for you <laughs> where's my Fosh 155 is it worth 20,000 bonds though ah shit um not really I think it's worth about 15,000 bonds like the original tier 10 price in the bond shop, but 20,000 bonds, it's a little bit cutting it steep 
for a, you know, not a new vehicle. And plus, there are a bunch of other options. So like the FE25B, the 121B, or the M60. Only the 121B got buffed. These two require a buff pretty soon. <laughs> kind of feels lackluster, but this is like a 4 out of 10. And, or maybe 3.5 out of 10. Yeah. Alright, this is a 1 out of 10. <laughs> Bond equipment at a discount, yes, but still, it's filler taking up a slot for you to re-roll into new stuff like premium tanks or styles. It's just there to take up space for your re-rolls and other crap. I don't need this. No, I don't want this. I want tanks on offer. I can buy this whenever, right? So, it's not special. This is a 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. All the price are the same from the bond shop, so 1 out of 10. Mm, gross. Oh, oh, <laughs> Aston RX, or REX, Aston Rex, for one credit, one big one, comes with the garage slot as well. If you're getting this offer, it's gone in a split second, like, like that, it's gone, <laughs> and it's gone. Obviously, one credit, it's super worthwhile, <laughs> even if it's the garage slot, it is worthwhile, but... It comes with a premium tier 8 American medium tank. Uh, screw those who actually bought it for real money. What a bunch of scrubs. <laughs> it is one credit. Now, there is a big caveat to this. I think they will change the ratio of how you get this offer by having it to like 1% out of 100 chances you are getting this offer for one credit. So it's very rare, but the big caveat is that going back to the tank caravan page and here is the big limitation or exploit as you would call it. You will only get bundles with vehicles and styles that you do not have on your account yet. So if you own a lot of the tanks or a lot of the premiums and styles, then it's like the secret warehouse for the last black market. So you only get offers they don't have. I have a lot of premium tanks. I, I never bought the Aston Rex. So it is higher in the terms of percentages to get this offer from Tank Caravan. That is ridiculous. You're getting a premium tank for one credit if you have a lot of premium tanks. So if you already have the, I don't know, the T22 medium tank, a bunch of premiums on offer coming up then you're getting this vehicle for one credit higher chance of getting this offer too <laughs> 10 out of 10 best best meme <laughs> oh what a bunch of scrubs that pay money for this vehicle you guys suck <laughs> all right type 59 for 7,000 gold pretty good i mean it is the cheapest price uh, one of the cheapest price for a premium tier 8 medium tank. Obviously, it is one of the classic. So this is like a 9 out of 10. Best buy too. So this will go quick. But if you save it for the discount, obviously, goes cheaper too. But 9 out of 10. Definitely worthwhile. Uh, Mauer Breaker. <laughs> it is the unskinned version of the 16801. But is it worth seven and a half million credits? Oh, where's the mower breaker? It breaks mowers. There it is. The one six uh one six eight oh one P without the skin obviously, but Um It's a big fat target. <laughs> I think it might be worse than the seven five the VK seven five oh one K, the other premium. Tier 8. Yeah, where's the 7.5? Where's the... Uh, there's so many freaking... There it is, 7.501k. This one is a little bit better, in my honest opinion, because it's not as big, and you can actually side scrape with it, but... For the Mara Breaker, for the 168... Oh, it's a huge vehicle, it's slow, so top speed of only 20, below 10 horsepower per ton ratio, turn slow, yeah, especially slow for the turret, as well as the hull. 
It's a big ass target, and you have a weak spot. So that's a uh, 150 millimeter. Yep, 150 for the cupola. You big pin. It's a big target. <laughs> I mean, it is a large, <laughs> large in charge uh, mouse prototype, but God, it's huge. You do weigh a lot, so people should not ram you. That would be a very bad idea. But you're basically a sitting pinata for. Seven and a half million credits. I don't think it's worth. I think it's worth about like three million credits at max Because back then for black market we got the Chrysler K for about Four million credits auction. This is not worth seven and a half million credits. So this is like a 3.5 out of 10 <laughs> It's not that special of a premium tier 8 just yeah All right tog for 3.5 million credits, you could have gotten this for free on the North America server or on the EU server for marathons, but it's an old vehicle, doesn't get talk enough or talk at all <laughs> nowadays, so it's obscure now. The good old Tog, it's a meme, obviously, but it's slow, no armor, has a butt ton of health. And that's the only thing going for it. It has a lot of freaking health. <laughs> that's it. And it rapid fires people to death. So you cannot trade shots with the TOG. Because you'll lose. But I mean if there's a gain up on TOG. Then obviously the TOG will die. But I put uh, additional health <laughs> as the survivability aspects. So yeah. 1700 health for a tier 6. Jesus. That's like 2... Tier 6s, heavy tanks, mashed together. <laughs> That's like two T100s or T150s mashed together or KV1s mashed together <laughs> into one vehicle. That's a lot of button of health. But 3.5 million credits, it's a little bit steep, but it's a meme tank. So if you have the credits, sure. But I would, the max I would pay for this thing is about 2 million credits or. Yeah, this is about 2 million credits. We got the IS-2 Berlin for about 3.5 million credits from Black Market, I believe. But, yeah, 2 million credits is the max I would pay for it. But if you don't have it, then sure. It's like a 3.5 out of 10. Same with the Marrow Breaker, the 16801P. Yeah. Projecto. I think this is a rental, but you rent it for 7 days for 2 million credits. Way too steep. I mean, the max I would pay for a rental for seven days is about half a million credits. So basically, you have to pay. Uh, you have to play this vehicle a lot to get the two million credits back. Yeah, end of the uh, end of the week, you lost it. I mean, it's a rental. It's it's gone <laughs> at the end of the week. So can you get more than two million credits by constantly playing with this vehicle? Over the course of the week. It's not worth 2 million credits. It's worth like half a mil. 500,000. Yeah, you don't you don't want to pay that much. You want to save it for actual, you know, stuff that stays in your garage. Not a rental. Dumb. 5 million credits for the IS-2 Berlin. It was 3.5 or something for Black Market. I mean, it's a decent enough tier 7 heavy, but there's a bunch of premium ISs <laughs> in the game. There's IS-2 Shielded, there's IS-2 Berlin, and the IS-2M as well, all at tier 7. <laughs> I don't have the IS-2M, unfortunate, but yeah, it's not worth 5 million credits. It was 3.5 from Black Market, so the caravan is kind of ripping you off, but then again, you could save it for the discount, so yeah, <laughs> milking us dry. <laughs> um, jeez. Yeah, it's it, this is like a four out of ten. It's a little bit better of a tank than the Mauer Breaker, or the or the Tog for that matter. But it's not worth five million credits. This is a four out of ten. Yeah. Oh, the Rudy. Uh, is it the Rudy? Yep, that's a Rudy for. Even more than the IS-2 Berlin. Holy shit. Now, this wasn't put on offer for black market. Yes. But 5.5 million credits for a tier 6 premium. No. 
It's like almost twice the cost of the Tog 2. No. <laughs> Why are you charging so much for a premium tier 6? Now granted, it's like a T3485. I mean, that's practically it. But you're charging 5.5 million credits. That's like almost a tier 10 for a premium tier 6. It costs way too much. If this is a 2.5 out of 10. 2.5 it's it's not worth <laughs> not really all right i think that's the list from the jpegs but there's also a list of some other vehicles from the russian leaks as well so obviously it's in russian but i translated it a little bit so curvettes one with the 2d style 15 million credits the t22 medium tank 25,000 bonds flash 55 bonds Aston Rex 105 for one credit <laughs> So like I said with the exploit or the caveat if you have a lot of premiums if you already have all, a lot of these vehicles Then obviously it gets offered for one credit. So higher chance for those who, or for whales that's already gotten a lot of the vehicles <laughs> so You win more after you already won <laughs> so Rare 2D style, nobody knows what the style is for one silver, one credit, alright. Uh, Type 59 for 7,000 gold, not bad, 9 out of 10. SU 130PM for uh, the gold price, so I already saw that from the video I think. But, nah, it's standard gold cost. This is like a 6 out of 10, 6.5. If you don't have the vehicle, it's a decent time to get it, especially with a discount. If you miss out on Avon Calendar, but the Mauer Breaker for 7.5 million silver. No, um, no. Might as well buy the Luva if you get a chance. Or the VK 7501K. The VK 7501K is also like really cheap in terms of the gold cost. This, oh, not this one. This costs about. 5,000 gold or something <laughs> which is really cheap or at least 7,000 gold or something it's 7,000 gold but it's one of the cheapest premium tier 8 heavy tank I think it might be the actual cheapest but I mean it's okay it's not that good takes a long ass time to reload the goddamn gun but all right <laughs> but the Mauer breaker the 168 it's a lot slower, a lot slower than this thing. So, yeah, it's not worth 7.5 million credits. IS-2 Berlin, I presume that's a Berlin version, but 5 million, also not worth 5 million. Especially for the Rudy. Tog-2, nah, 3.5 million. Eh, not worthy. And a bunch of rentals, like the Sinlac, the SU, uh, SDRV-81, and the Projectos. And likely the T34-3 or the TS5 or the Renegade. So all are a bunch of rentals. But if you already have those vehicles, then less chance of you getting the rental. Taking up the slot for the filler. So giving you more chance to get the Aston RX or Rex for <laughs> one credit. <laughs> so overall, I mean, yeah. Most of these offers are gimmicky. So if you don't have the vehicle... It's like Avon Calendar, but there is one or two that you should really look out for. Namely this one. <laughs> or if you don't have the Type 59, you could get it for very cheap gold cost. So that's nice. It's not like paying 100,000 or 100 bucks for the vehicle in the bundle shop for a premium shop. But it's only... The original price of gold it's not like 100 bucks for the panzer 2j or the btsv no it's it's not bundled with garbage <laughs> just pay straight up the gold cost and back then the gold cost was pretty cheap for this vehicle too so this one to look out for this one especially to look out for but if you have the bonds maybe this i guess i'll probably save it and hope for a discount, but I'll check back soon. So, another final word about this event. It is the fast, clicky part of black market design, but 
they do not show you all the offers right away. So everybody gets RNG'd. It's not like, oh, we know what's coming and we prepare the credits or bonds for it or even the gold for it. So it's not like, oh, the T22 medium tank is going to be on offer like six hours from now. Everybody get ready to click. It's not like that. Everybody has RNG. Everybody gets offered differently. So kind of a fair quote unquote aspect to the fast clicky part. But this is the big caveat. So if you're a whale or if you're a collector of the game, if you already have a lot of vehicles like in your garage, then obviously you get offered the better stuff <laughs> than the garbage rental tanks or the garbage bond equipment. So less filler to take up slots for the Aston Rex for one credit. That is ridiculous. <laughs> but there you go, folks. Some leaked JPEGs of the images, but try to grind some bonds, I guess, for the T22 medium tank. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> but try to have one credit. That's all I can recommend for the Aston Rex. <laughs> try to have one credit. It's not a hard thing to do. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on the trading caravan. What you buying, stranger? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.